All right, viewers, welcome back. So, in, we're going to be exploring Coney Island for the first time. Um, it's pretty much a free-range open area in which you can do a bunch of things like steal car radios, mug people, break into stores, steal stuff, you know, the optional things. But in addition, depending on which warrior you're controlling, you also get a warrior escorting you. Or Cleon, it's Swan. You can also run into generic warriors. They're nothing important, but they do help you out when completing bonus objective missions that you can do while you're exploring Coney Island. And I do recommend doing them because you get extra stuff that's very useful on, for the playing like this game. Very useful. Like our first one, we have to defeat the Van Cortland Rangers. They're on our turf, we need to take them out. Now, I don't understand why a ranger would invade a warrior's turf. They have they are only good at range weaponry. They don't have anything. This is a fist brawl beat 'em up game. I don't understand it at all. I don't even understand their color scheme. What the hell are they trying to go for? Someone explain this to me, man. I don't understand. Why the striped shirts? Why the where are those jean pants? Why? Why 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 why? Tell me. Hey, you, tell me, what's up with your color scheme? I don't understand. Why did you choose those clothes for your costume? Sort of color thing. I don't understand it. Why are you represented on a turf? Who told you to come here? Tell us! Tell us! Oh wait, you can't, because my fist is in your face. Ugh. And that was the first bonus objective. We didn't really get anything, but it pays off in the long run. Just trust me on that. I know you don't, but just trust me. Anyways, we have another one over here. Yeah. Okay, we have to get Rudy $100 because, uh... He helped us out in the very beginning of the game, you know, when Rembrandt was joining the Warriors. Yeah. So, first things first, you want to be quick, check everything you can. And, uh, if you're not quick, the police will come. It's not good if the police come. In fact, you know what, we want to get out of here, quick. Let's go. Alright. We're lucky. We're very lucky. And so, yeah, basically that store, very useful to break in. You can get a lot of money with that. We're almost halfway, that's that's how helpful that is. Now, secondly, we have a car here with a radio. Now, I've never really explained the watch my back command. It's kind of useless unless you're like taking something or stealing something. That's pretty much the only time it really comes into play and even then, like, the warriors will kind of already automatically do that for you, so... It's not really all that useful. I'm just gonna say that much. Uh, we want to get to this last radio. Now, something else I should explain, because it can happen to you. If you're busting into something like a car and stealing the radio, as you can see, we have a diamond exclamation mark. That's a pedestrian that's gonna alert the authority. Uh, I recommend stopping them because they can become very annoying. Because that will happen, and the police will be on you, and, um, I really don't recommend having the police on you for this mission, because, uh, yeah, you can fight the police. Oh, sure, you can do that, but, um, they're never gonna stop coming. Like, it's constantly gonna be just police coming right at you. You defeat one, another one comes and takes its place. So, yeah, I don't recommend fighting the police. At all. At least not on this level. Later on, maybe. We'll see. Uh, for now, just mug someone else and that Get should be good. Got you so, yeah. So, I think, think if you choose to watch my back, they'll actually stop pedestrians from alerting the authorities, so it's pretty good. Sometimes. Alright! Go away! We got $100! We don't need you anymore! Let's move it! Now we can get Rudy to go now we can give it to Rudy, he can go buy his train ticket and he can go see his Sarge. But really I think he means he's just gonna buy a whole buttload of booze. 
I don't know, but... <laughs> Alright! His Sarge must be Jack Daniels. Yeah. Alright, we unlock Diller Hints. We give a bum a dollar and they reveal the location of a dollar. It's more useless than helpful, but I'll take it regardless. Just because. Anyways. So, uh, as we kind of explore the hangouts, because the game did, but I didn't, um, I guess I'll go over something else. But before that, we can talk to our fellow warriors. Um, they give us feedback about the current situation. It's pretty cool. Yeah, we gotta take care of Rachel. Um, I don't know, it's not really all that useful, but it's kind of a nice touch that the developers put in the game. It's getting to be dangerous out there. That it is. But anyways, back to topic. Uh, basically, being that these exploring Coney parts, they're um, they're probably gonna be shorter, and they're not required in the game. But they're optional, but I recommend doing it. So, basically, they might follow the previous part that is required, depending on how long they are. But I've dragged this on long enough, so I think I'll end it here. Anyways, later.